So uh, I'm glad you asked me that question because uh, I have been thinking about that a lot. And of course, uh, we are mostly all earning money and we, we can donate money and I think we should all donate money to a cause. And of, of course, we all know about the All Armenia um, Fund, which is uh, available for all Armenians to uh, donate to. And uh, I certainly will be donating. But I think there is a lot more responsibility uh, on the shoulders of Armenians in the diaspora. And that is uh, one of education, educating people. The thing that strikes me most when I talk to others about the situation is how little people know about the history of the region uh, and uh, how this conflict has come about and why it's come about. And also, I think very, people, very few people know about uh, the involvement of Turkey with Azerbaijan and why that is uh, so painful for the Armenians now. So I think what the onus is on every Armenian in the diaspora is to take time out and teach our colleagues, our friends about the truth, about what it is to be Armenian and what the situation is in Armenia at the moment. And we can do this by showing them uh, about our, sharing the, uh, our history with them and showing them uh, where they can find out about our history uh, on various websites. I also feel that uh, Armenians now more than ever need the support of the international community and so uh, it's the international community that I think is going to make a big difference to the outcome of the Armenians eventually. And so I think it's very important for us to make the international community aware of uh, what is going on in Armenia and Artsakh at the moment. I think it's very important also to realise that Armenia is heading uh, towards a massive humanitarian crisis. They have lost hundreds and hundreds of soldiers aged between 18 and 20 or 21 years old. And so there's a huge, already a huge generation gap forming for future jobs, future families and the future of Armenia. Also, Armenia is going to have to rebuild uh, Artsakh is going to have to rebuild uh, and we are going to need help to do that. And only the international community can provide the sort of help that is required. I think for this reason it's crucial that the whole Armenian diaspora thinks not only of the crisis that's occurring at the moment, but the aftermath of the crisis and what is going to be needed. We are going to need engineers, we're going to need doctors, nurses, we're going to need all sorts of professionals, psychologists, psychiatrists, to try to bring Armenia back onto its uh, feet again. And I have no doubt that we will. We, have, uh, we are a culture that is more than 3,000 years old, and we have survived many, many wars, and we will survive this war. Uh, but it's going to take a huge effort from all Armenians all around the world and the whole international community.